Live, up close, and unplugged. Here's another live performance from 95 Will Rock Studio East. And that is I Prevail. Welcome! Thanks for having us. There's a lot of you. Usually there's like two or three, and half the members are at the hotel or on the bus. So like you guys bring, are a rolling. Like the uh, whole brigade in. Yeah, and then like sometimes we have a crowd in here. You guys have a. You brought the crowd too. <laughs> we, we, we needed some moral support. How do you fit all of you on your bus? Like, do you each have your own bed or are you good cuddle buddies? Very good cuddle buddies. Yeah, yeah. I figure that was the case. <laughs> Not very many buses have 10 bunks. That, uh, the cuddle buddies thing is by choice, though. Oh. So we have plenty of bunks. <laughs> I, mean, I, I really think that, you know, when it comes to band bonding, there's really no better way to do that, right? You get in a fight and then you hug it out and cuddle after. I don't there see what go. the problem is there. Yeah. There you go. No, I, I like that. I like that. So you guys played with Hollywood Undead and Crown the Empire last night at House of Blues. Is this uh, this is a pretty new newly started tour, right? Uh, yeah, it's actually uh, been going for about a month now. Oh, it has. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, actually, the very end. There's only like three shows left. I yep. think. Yeah, three. Oh, yeah, we got oh, some. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the tour has been absolutely incredible for us so far. The show. I think right now we're on a span of like four straight sold out shows and hoping yeah. that wow, we run like three straight sold out shows. So yeah. well, that's great. That's How exciting is this for you that within just a couple of months, like we didn't know you now we know you you have a song that blew up and now you're playing sold out shows with hollywood undead i mean is this just crazy it's unreal it's it's honestly unreal the most humbling humbling experience ever to walk out on stage and see a thousand two thousand kids every night it's like holy crap yeah a bunch <laughs> right. of us went from i was a pizza guy who worked at ihop uh, i was a waiter <laughs> Just going from that to now, actually kind of living the dream is Yeah, so when awesome. you have time off, you're not planning on going back to these jobs? No. no. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, as much as I love bartending and serving, uh, sorry, yeah, <laughs> not yeah. going back. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> well, last night when you played in Chicago, I know not your first time playing in the city, but was that your first time at House of Blues? Oh, uh, yeah, that was the first time. Awesome right. venue, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, we yeah, love all the so House of cool. Blues around. Yeah, we heard that's the nation. original House of Blues. Is that true? In Chicago? In Chicago, yeah. All right. Maybe. Fact yes, check. Paul it is told the me that. original. <laughs> fact check. Anyone? Fact check. Anyone? Yeah, sure. I don't know. I don't know. It's awesome. It's one, it's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Yeah, favorite. that was amazing. Yeah. Wait, I feel. I feel like New Orleans was the original. <coughs> oh, that can't be. You don't think is so? that not real? I, I, we played that one, haven't we? Yeah, we played that one. That was yeah, we played the small. Right, we'll we'll yeah. get to the bottom of that yeah. eventually. Right. But uh, so let's talk about how we heard about you, and that was with your cover of Taylor Swift's "Blank Space." So I have to ask: of all the covers you could have done. Taylor Swift, like where did this come from? I'm gonna give this one to our drummer Lee. Uh, she's a babe. I mean, why not? <laughs> 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 Lee might have a slight obsession with Taylor Swift. So it's like, I mean, your hair is kind of similar to what she has going on. Yeah. They could be twins. You look at them, they could be twins. Yeah. Yeah. You look at them from the back. <laughs> no, the, the real story is uh, we spent like a year, you know, kind of like writing our actual EP and whatnot. We knew we wanted to launch with a cover, so we were all kind of throwing around ideas. Lee comes in with his Taylor Swift obsession with the uh, leaked album. And, uh, we bought it later. We did buy it, did buy it later. <laughs> Very good. Throw that out there. Support music. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we looked through the album, found that song, and we figured it'd be the one that blew up. And what do you know? She puts it out and it blows up, and we put out our cover. And shortly after, yeah. kind of it blows up. Yeah. yeah. So, and and <laughs> you you answer something that I was going to ask. So that was your idea to come out and introduce yourself to the world with a cover. Yep, yep. We I wasn't sure because, you know, if I, I was going to ask if that was not the case, you have this EP of original music and then the label or, or whoever tells you, you know, we're going to go with the cover and then you're like, well, this music is ours. <laughs> okay, so that is something that you wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, we just kind of wanted to use it as a launching pad to kind of get the name out there and then we saw, you know, the reaction from the cover to go check out the EP was great. So good. Kind of yeah, so it did exactly what you wanted it yeah, to do. Absolutely. And absolutely. I was on YouTube today just to get the uh, the number of views, and I didn't write down the exact number, but over 16 million. That's yes. crazy. I remember when it hit like 10,000, all of us were in my apartment just freaking out. Holding hands, jumping around in yeah. a circle, right. like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> no, to look at now, 16 million. So do you ever have, like, if you're just having a rough day, log on to YouTube, see what that number's at, and you're like, ah, you know what? Things aren't so bad. Yeah. I see Eric take a few peeks every once in a while. <laughs> that's yeah. good. I think that's a good thing to do. So you had no idea that this was going to do it. You were hoping, but you had no idea. Yeah, we obviously had hopes, but if you would have told us it would have blown up to this proportion, we 
would have called you crazy. I think we thought we were uh, hoping for like five, maybe 10,000 views in a month or two. And yeah, that was the initial the first... goal. We're like, yeah. right, we hit 10,000. We're on a nice We're good. Yeah. We're, we're on the right path. <laughs> and it kept going up and we're like, what is going on? <laughs> well, I know you guys are going to do that song for us, but uh, you mentioned your EP, which we are going to talk about. But do you want to do one of your originals first for yeah, us this yeah. afternoon? We're actually going to yep. bust out a song that we've been uh, kind of promoting lately. It's called uh, Crossroads. All right. Live with I Prevail in Studio East. They are mistaken! the questions with no answers to be found what have i done what did i say well, i guess this is just the price i pay The Rock Station, live in Studio East with I Prevail. Now, uh, the EP that you guys have out is called Heart vs. Mine, and, uh, or Heart vs. Mine, duh, sorry. <laughs> and uh, Crossroads, the second single, we've been rocking it here at Will Rock, and you guys just released a music video for that song that I saw. And also with that, I saw that there's actually a message with the song that you're hoping to spread. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, um, growing up, uh, I know we're all kind of the same boat, but uh, especially growing up, you know, having depression, anxiety, and dealing with that those problems um, pretty heavily. Music was a big source of, um, was a big help growing up and uh, output and helped me get through a lot, like especially through the worst of 
worse than my anxiety and depression problems. Um, but I've always wanted to put out something that kind of returned the favor. I took something out of music, want to put something back out. So when we were writing this song, we all kind of brainstormed and want to put a positive, upbeat message out there that that was really relatable to the common person that just goes through, you know, has a you know a bad day to a person who deals with anxiety and depression on a real, real level. Yeah, and it's kind of been cool too to like see the reaction from everybody. I mean, people have even gotten you know lyrics yeah. to the song tattooed on them. Oh of, wow, yeah, crazy! Yeah, we, I mean, we had to have seen probably about ten tattoos now. Oh yeah, just on this tour alone. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so people come up to us, and that's the song that a lot of times you know they can really. And let their then I'm going to show you mine that says, I've got a blank space, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just need your signatures, then we're going to tattoo over that. Oh, man. No, but on a serious note, I think you're right, not not only with it being relatable to people, like you said, that anything from a bad day to someone who, who really is having an issue, but I think on the other side, too, to have fans of the band that might be dealing with some of these issues to hear that out of you, look at you, and be like, wow, like they do, too. So, you know, that that's kind of another, another way yeah. that, it, you know, that they're not not alone not even with their friends but that you know there's people they might look up to that that do too so that's awesome that you're yeah. doing that very cool now i know you got a record deal in the spring so does that mean a full length album due out sometime soon uh, yeah we do plan on uh, after getting off this tour with hollywood and Denver. yeah i know you're a little busy right now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, uh, we're planning on going in the studio and pretty much spending uh, the next couple months really getting writing and you know recording and Hopefully, we can't really put a timeline on it yet, but I'd look for some time in the middle of next year. Cool, so that's, that's kind of your plans for the rest of the year, finish out this tour with Hollywood Undead, and then into the studio yep, you yep, go? Yeah, excited, right? It's been a while. We've been pretty much touring this entire year, so we're ready to get back in the studio. I haven't really been of, home since March. Yeah, a lot so. of people wow. now are anxious. They're saying, give us more, give us more. Yeah, so. but at least the EP is out, so that's a good yeah. thing. How many songs? Yeah. There's five or six songs on there? Uh, I think we got seven, seven. and then Blank Space yeah. on top of it. Okay, so. yeah, so that's pretty good. Well, but yeah. I think we're all itching now, too. We're excited, because it's been a while since you know, we really got <laughs> to be in the studio and, and hone in since we've been touring so much. So. so is your set, you know, on this tour with Hollywood Undead, is it like just long enough that you can get all the songs in there? Yep, yep, it's pretty much, yeah. Perfect! <laughs> we don't talk as much, we just bust through all the songs. There so. you go, I and mean, that's what people want to hear, right. so that's exciting. So uh, we're talking about Blank Space, of course, that's how we were introduced to you guys. Have to ask, because I didn't earlier, have you heard anything from Taylor Swift or her camp about this? Taylor Swift, if you are out there, we are still waiting. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I promise you a nice date. I'll get you home by midnight. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm sure yeah. that's exactly what she has well, been waiting it's for. It's funny, actually. At the now end there's of, a feud. Yeah. <laughs> at, at, at the end of the YouTube video, Lee actually put his real number out there. Uh, oh, no. You know, he said, yeah. Taylor, call me. Lee was probably getting 50 calls a day. I remember there was this one time, too. Did you Have you since taken that off? Uh, yeah, I had to change my number. I put up with it oh, for like okay. two you months. Oh, okay, you just changed your number. I yeah, was going to say. Yeah, I changed my number. I remember there was one time a girl like said she was Taylor, and Lee got excited for like half a second. and. We we debunked. Did it you quick, did you but... like meet up with her? Uh no no. Oh man! I was just like I was like really that's awesome. I mean because it could have ended two ways <laughs> Dateline or. <laughs> that would have been pretty awesome. If you would have met up with uh, Lee, why don't you uh, why don't you come sit sit down have a seat here? Yeah. Well, I hear yeah. that Taylor is a big Will Rock fan, so I'm sure you know yeah. she's listening. Yeah. Oh, so now red. that's thrown out there into the universe, I think we're gonna hear something. We all think you're very attractive. <laughs> You're a very pretty woman. Would you like to play the homage to Miss Swift? Why not? <laughs> Taylor, if you're listening, this one goes out to you. <laughs> nice to meet you where you've been. I can show you incredible things. Magic, madness, heaven, sin. Saw you there and I thought, oh my God, look at that face. Look like the next mistake Loves a game, wanna play Hey, hey. The new money shooting top Well, I can read you like a magazine Hit it, buddy! Rumors fly! When I know you heard about me So hey, let's be friends I'm trying to see how this one ends Grab your passport and my hand Cause I can make the good girls bad for a weekend So it's gonna be forever Oh, 
cherry lips, crystal skies I can show you incredible things Stolen kisses, pretty lies You're the queen, baby, I'm your king Find out what you want Be that guy for a month But the worst is yet to come Oh, no! Screaming, crying, perfect storms I can make all the tables turn Rose garden filled with thorns Keep you second guessing like Oh, oh my god Who we see? Who we say? Like a drunk on jealousy But you'll come back each time you leave Cause darling I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream So it's gonna be forever Or it's gonna go down in flames You can tell me when it's over With the highways worth the pain You'll always stop that lovers And they'll tell you I'm insane Cause you know I love the players And you love the game Cause we young you were reckless We'll take this way too far It'll leave you breathless Or with a nasty scar You'll always stop that lovers And they'll tell you I'm insane But I got a blank space, baby And don't write your name It's only one Love, if it's torture, don't say I didn't, don't say I didn't warn you! Uh. It's torture, with torture, don't say I didn't warn you! It's torture, with torture, don't say I didn't warn you! So it's gonna be forever Or it's gonna go down in flames You could tell me when it's over If the high was worth the pain, pain. Will Rock, The Rock Station, live with I Prevail in Studio East. You know that one. It's blank space. And yeah, I was wondering when you guys were coming in, I'm like, are they plugging in or are they doing this acoustic? Like, I didn't picture it. Now I heard it and it was awesome. Like, so way to go, guys. Like, that was great. People have Thank you. Hear screaming's an acoustic song. Right. right. And that, that's yeah. what I was wondering about. I'm like, I, I like they have to scream. Are they going to like do. I mean, I, I was just going to do it. I'm glad I did. So, yeah. <laughs> just like you guys did. You did good. Well, thanks, so thank you for here. that. Thanks again for having <laughs> us out. Yeah, yeah, thank you so thank much. Thank you guys for coming in. If you haven't picked up their EP yet, Heart vs. Mind is out now. I tell you to go see them with Hollywood Undead, but the show was last night in Chicago. Although, like, I think you've got an Indiana date coming up. Yeah, Maybe did you play it yet already? No, I think we're we're playing some Christmas shows around the area. So, oh, so stay tuned. Stay all right, tuned, right, all right. So you'll be back sooner rather than oh, later, yes, which is fantastic. Yeah. Cool. Thanks again, you guys. Thank Love you so you. much. And uh, now that Taylor knows that she's the queen, and now she's got five kings to choose from. <laughs> five more if you want to let the crew guys have a little a little you know, taste of the Taylor, tea. <laughs> we're, we're we're out here. We're waiting. <laughs> we are live with I Prevail, ninety five Will Rock Studio East.